In this video, I'm going to use MATLAB to evaluate some partial derivatives. So what I have there is I have three functions here of several variables. So I'm going to evaluate these partial derivatives, the partial derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to y, and these partial derivatives which are appearing here. So what I've done is I've created a live script and entered this as text. So the next step now, what I'll do is I'll enter the code to evaluate those partial derivatives. So I'll start with the first one here. Click on the return key. Then I go to my live editor here. Then click here so that I enter the MATLAB code. So I'll now start by entering this function here. But for me to enter this function, it has variables x and y. And this one here is variables x, y, and z. So I will need to create symbolic variables. So I will type in s, y, m, s. The variables that I will be having is x, then y, and z. So I have created my symbolic variables there. The next step is now to enter that function. So I will give it a name. We are having three functions, this one, this one, and this one. So just to to make them different, I'll call it f1 so that I know which function I'm dealing with. So f1 is equals to x, then the power 2, then plus 3, then multiplied by x, multiplied by y, then plus y minus 1. I can just run just to confirm if I have entered the correct function x squared plus 3y multiplied by x plus y minus 1. So that's the correct function there. I go on and differentiate it. So the partial derivative, I'll call it a d1. So d1 is equals to, then the command for differentiating is a diff. Open parenthesis, we are differentiating f1 then comma we are differentiating it with respect to x so we specify that we are differentiating with respect to the variable x if we needed to differentiate partially with respect to y then we we'll specify that we are differentiating with respect to y but in this case we are looking at this partial derivative here the partial derivative with respect to x that's why i specified x here so i can then go on and run here and it gives that our d1 there is 2x plus 3y. So I can now go on to this part here. That's a second partial derivative. We are differentiating this partial derivative that we obtained, but we are now differentiating the second time with respect to x. There are two options for doing this. So I will show all the two options. I can call that uh, one d1a. So d1a is showing the first option or if evaluating this partial derivative. So the command is a diff, open parenthesis, then we are differentiating f1 with respect to x, then specify that it's a second derivative, second partial derivative. So we differentiate the f1 twice with respect to x. So I can just go on and run here. And it gives us the answer being equal to true. Or the other option to use there, I'll call it D1B. So I'm still evaluating this second partial derivative, but using another method there. So it should be diff, open parenthesis, then F1, and then we specify we differentiate it with respect to x, then comma, then we say we differentiate it again with respect to x for the second time. So I'll go on and run. And as you can see, the result there is giving us a 2. So for the second partial derivative, you can specify here that you are differentiating that function with respect to x twice. Or you can say just x, x. Differentiate with respect to x, then differentiate again with respect to x. I now move on to the second one. This one here, this function of two variables, which is equals to 2y divided by y plus cosine x. And we are differentiating with respect to y. So I click here, press the return key, and then 
click here so that I enter the code. So I'm now calling this function f2, the second one. So it's f2 is equals to 2, then multiplied by y, divided by, then open parenthesis, y plus cosine, open parenthesis, then put the x there. I can just run there just to see if I've entered it correctly. So it's f2 is equals to 2y plus y divided by cosine of 2x. Can press the return key here. Now differentiate it. I'm saying my result, I want it to be called d2. So we are differentiating diff. Open parenthesis. We are differentiating f2 with respect to y. So specify the variable we are differentiating with respect to, then I can go on and run. So it will give us that partial derivative there is 2 divided by y plus cosine x minus 2y divided by y plus cosine of x squared. So that's the result there. But if you want to simplify this fraction, write it as one fraction here, what you can do is you can go where there are these three dots. So I can just click here and I can go to where it says rewriting expressions and simplifying there. So I can just go to simplify fraction. So I can go and simplify a fraction there and it's simplifying. So it gives us the simplified fraction here is 2 cosine x divided by y plus cosine of x squared. So what it did is it wrote this under one common denominator, which is y plus cosine of x squared. But if you just want to leave the answer like that, then there's no need of clicking that simplify expression there. So I will now go on to the next question. We are now having this function of three variables, and we want these four partial derivatives. So I'll click here, press the return key, and then enter the code. So for the code, I'll start by entering that function. I'll call it f3. Is equals to 1 minus 2, then times x, then times y. And the power 2 times z and then plus x squared multiplied by y. So we have entered our function there 1 minus 2 times x times y to the power 2 times z and then plus x squared times y. I can just run there just to confirm and it giving us x squared y minus 2 z x y squared plus 1. What uh, MATLAB did there is it takes x as the default variables so it starts by writing the larger powers of x where we have x squared and then where we have x and then where we have x to the power 0 with the constant. It just uh, rearranged the way this function was written here. But as you can see, it's still the same function. So I can go on and press the return key. And then we are now differentiating with respect to y. So this one, I'll call it g3 is equals to, we are saying diff, open parenthesis, we are differentiating f3 with respect to y. I can go on and run there. And we have our d3 is x squared minus 4xyz. I can go on to the next part. We now want this partial derivative. I differentiate it with respect to y, then with respect to x. So I'll call that uh, a d4 is equal to. So we are differentiating the function f, f3 with respect to y then with respect to x. We are differentiating this f with respect to y, then with respect to x. I can run here. So we see our d4 there is 2x minus 4yz. I can now go on and evaluating this partial derivative. Differentiate with respect to y, then with respect to x, and then with respect to y. 
So I'll call it a D five is equals to diff open parenthesis. We are differentiating F3 with respect to Y and then with respect to X and then with respect to Y. That head derivative there, then I go on and run and we have our D5 is equals to minus 4Z. So I will now go on to this partial derivative the derivative of f with respect to y, then with respect to x, then with respect to y, then with respect to z. I can press the return key, then I'll call it a d6 is equals to diff. We are differentiating f3 with respect to y, then comma, with respect to x, then comma, with respect to y, then comma, with respect to z. So we differentiate that f there, then I click on run, and we have the result there is minus 4. So this were just a few examples of how we can evaluate partial derivatives using MATLAB.